Hey, what's up, everybody? This is DJ Keo, and today we're going to talk about virtual DJ. Um, you know, it's kind of weird. I went for like weeks and weeks of zero DJ gear, no releases, no new hardware, no new software, nothing. And then in the last week, it's just been dropping. Everything's been dropping craziness. So this is, I think this qualifies as dropping craziness. Uh, virtual DJ, I have a love-hate relationship with, and if anybody who's been on my channel before, you know I made complaints about the software and everything else about it. I've made multiple videos about this. I hate it and I love it at the same time. I've said it a million times, virtual DJ is the most powerful DJ software on the market to bar none. It's not even close. Bar none today. This is another example of that. So what I'm talking about now is that virtual DJ had this sort of stems thing that allowed you to separate the audio from tracks and uh, you used to be able to do it on the fly in the middle of a performance. You could just separate the drums, take out the things. And I I'll say this though. I did use it for a little bit. It, it works as advertised. It's not as good as if something was dedicated like a uh, tractor was with their stems, the tractor stems, they were studio separated. So the actual drums were, uh, they separated the drums in the studio. They separated the musical instruments and the vocals and all that stuff in the studio. And so they're clean. And, and I always thought that this is a better solution than having the computer kind of analyze it while you're playing some other music, but this version of analyzing, it works. It's just not as good as something that was done in the studio. So like it, if you were doing a remix and you, it is the equivalent of having the computer quiet sections of a song, but not completely remove it. Cause I think that's a, that's a gross interpretation of what's actually happening here. The stems, when they, when it, takes the drums out or whatever you can still hear them they're just lower and if you had other drums on top of it then you know it sounds perfect but if you were to take this the drums and the vocals out of a song you can still hear it <laughs> and and it sounds robotic in some places and it definitely depends on the type of song you're playing and how fast the tempo is a bunch of other factors but so technically it works just not perfect like they're they're saying it is my beef with this has always been that there is no virtual dj hardware that's designed to take advantage of all the amazing features that virtual dj has because let's be realistic virtual dj i think outside like there's a reloop controller or something like that that's actually designed for virtual dj but everything else you're taking something that was designed for Serato, something that was designed for Recordbox, and then you're slapping a new can of paint on top of it and saying this is a virtual DJ. That's always been my beef with it and the visuals, but I'm not going to get into that right now. But I, I feel, and this is my personal opinion, virtual DJ would be in a better position if there was pro gear from the bottom, for, I mean, from the ground floor designed through virtual DJ because like it's always a can of paint on top of something else, but I, I digress. All right. It's not a bashing thing for virtual DJ. I have a lot of respect and admiration for the software. So the new thing is that virtual DJ is allowing people to export their stems into individual tracks on a USB. And I think this is huge. Um, there's software that made this possible, but it's a hassle and you, it gets effort. It's not something where you just press a button and it just does it. It is like you have to use isotope or, you know, like you need to kind of know something about engineering and music and how music works and that kind of stuff to actually get it to happen. But you could do a better job in isotope though, for sure. But it's a whole process and you kind of need to know what you're doing. Well, virtual DJ's done is <laughs> made it like a one button press export straight to your laptop. Boom. Done. 
which is phenomenal here. I love where technology is going and how people are looking at this stuff in a different way and giving us so many tools now. When Stanton came out with their visual DVS software, people's minds were blown. I, I distinctly remember I was talking to my other friend. He's a DJ. And we were like, oh, my God, can you imagine? We were just like, can you imagine the possibilities of this thing is controlling a record? Like, this is crazy. Like, our, we're sitting around and looking at each other like, oh, my God, this is the craziest thing. Now this is just, it's a an everyday thing. It's a fact of life now <laughs> that you can control a thing with the vinyl or whatever. Like, that the Rain 12s even exist or... The, the SC6000Ms even exist. Like, the, you know what I'm saying? Like, this, the stuff that it used to be was just a mind-blowing experience, and now it's just a regular thing. I expect to be able to do some kind of devious thing on an app on my phone. Like, <laughs> that's where we're at here. I, I, yesterday, I talked about there's a website that recreates the whole DJ experience from a DJ program. A website. Like, we're in uncharted territories here with possibilities. And still, majority of people are still going to play just two songs together, which I think is hilarious. But all right, um, let's talk about Virtual DJ here. This is really cool. Yeah, I, you gotta, you have to give credit when credit's due. And I do have some friends that use Virtual DJ, and I know some people that use it too that subscribe to me. You understand why people are fanatical about this program, man. Like, it is, it is legit what you can do with this program. My beasts are just petty as hell. I, I'm not going to get around that. I am I am a petty mofo, right? Uh, anyways, um, yeah, man, I think this is really cool. The other cool feature in this current release or this newest release that came out, I believe, is it today that is the release? I think so. Um, <clears throat> the other release is to be able to export your stuff and then just plug it into any Pioneer, you know, standalone gear, like your Nexus 2000s or your 3000, whatever, and just import your library into the controller. <laughs> we are one step closer to the software being agnostic, and I love it. I'm here for all of this. Uh, I've talked about this for the longest time, and I long for the day when Serato people can use tractor gear and tractor people can use Denon gear and it's just one big happy family and the best gear wins and the best software wins. Because right now, you know, we have Pioneer leveraging stuff and they're kind of forcing people into Regular Box and Denon's trying to do the same thing to get you to use Engine Prime and Tractor's trying to force you to use tractor gear. I long for the day when... A tractor user could be like, I want to use whatever I want, and it just works flawlessly. I don't think that's ever going to happen, but it would be cool. That's one of those Imagine songs. <laughs> so You know what I'm saying? Like I was about to say Paul McCartney. Like, Good God. Uh, all right. This, this is one of those Imagine songs. John Lennon. All right. This is one of those things. It's a ma imagine. I'm not going to sing it, but <laughs> yo, people are clowning Gal Gadot for that. <laughs> But like, yo, just imagine, man, you could do whatever you want on any gear you want. I'm I'm here for all of that. Uh, virtual DJs leading the charge, right? Now, I honestly, I'm not trying to say that it contradicts the thing. I definitely believe that there should be hardcore gear designed for your your particular software, and it's got benefits from it different knobs or buttons or whatever that the, is designed for this different software. But I like the freedom to be like, hey, I want to use Tractor on this. I want to use Serato on this. I want to use Recordbox on this. And, and that's what I'm saying. Definitely they need to make software. They need to make gear that takes advantage of the software. And Virtual DJ does not do that. But this is not a bashing thing for Virtual DJ. I told you, like, I love hate relationship with it. And you know what? That's fine. I always said this about DJ software and especially for DJ gear. I do not get the rah rah team thing. I'm not getting paid by any of these companies. Uh, 
I don't have a tattoo on my arm that says tractor 3.0 or whatever. Like I'm like, I don't understand the allegiance people have where they want to get into a fist fight because you said, I don't like your software. I don't get that. This thing should be separate. If you say you don't like the software, it should not be a direct representation of the person who uses the software or the hardware or whatever. I've never, I don't understand that concept. It just doesn't make sense to me. I've always been a, hey, do you, if this thing is the best situation for you, rock that the hell out. And if people don't like it, cool, but that has no bearing on your life. I just, I, I, just, I can't, I'm, I, I'm not, I'm, I'm waffling here. I'm going on. Anyways, you know what? Let me know what you guys think about this. If you'd like to support the channel, you can buy something from my t-shirt shop. That's djkeo.store. I simplified the address and made it easier to find. As well as you can buy something from Instagram, djkeo underscore. Uh, my store is there as well as on my website. I appreciate everybody who supported the channel through the years and got new designs and new stuff is coming soon. Link is in the description as always. And I thank you for watching and uh, peace out, bitches.